Madam Chairman. You know, typically the indiscretions of a few uh, will hurt the many who do good. Now, there's no question that's true. And many of us feel very strongly about abortion, whether you're pro-choice or pro-life. I happen to be an obstetrician, uh, as I spent 31 years doing that, delivering about 5,000 babies. I'm strongly pro-life. And I think that, that if the intent of these grants was very clear. I can certainly see why someone who, is, who has had an abortion, who has uh, problems emotionally, you would feel like you want to help them. I certainly understand that. I've done that. When people have had them somewhere else and came to me, I did offer support for those patients and would continue to do so. But the, the grants can uh, prohibit that. It's not to be used, and, and we, I think we feel like if we allow that, it will, you'll get on a slippery slope, um, and, and then people just decide what they want to do. And I think that's the problem I've seen with, I'm on the Veterans Affairs Committee, and one of the problems I have with this place is the, is the lack of accountability. People just do what they want to because they think they want to, not the intent of Congress, and then there's, there are no consequences to it. So what I want to dig into, first of all, were there just six people? What have been the consequences to that? Because if the consequences were from this, we just cut the grant off, and realizing that there are AmeriCorps members out there working hard every day in New York or wherever they may be working that are doing good work, if those consequences were there like that, those grantees would not do that if there was some accountability like that. And I think that you as a director, Ms. Spencer, are going to have to say, well, I'd like to see these people go on and do all. Well, then there's no, there's no, there's been nothing for these people. If you think about it, we are having a discussion uh, about not a lot. And what Mr. Scott was talking about, about the amount of money, I don't care about that. It is the principle that is involved. And I think, you know, a, a billion dollars is a lot of money. It is a thousand million dollars that you oversee every year. Uh, and so I want to know, had there been more than six, uh, Ms. Jeffrey, were there more than that? Or how did you determine there were just six people involved? Thank you. We, in fact, know that there were more than six involved. Okay. There are six that we can identify by name. The only way we are able to identify the individuals who served as abortion doulas is if they somehow made a blog post or sent something that is in the public record about their service. We know that there were additional individuals. We do not know how many because, typically, AmeriCorps members do not keep detailed time records of their activities, and so it is very difficult to quantify the number of people. That said, it appears that the activity was limited to this one subgrantee, um, and it is not given the, the number of individuals we can identify. We don't think it's orders of magnitude off. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. What date does the subgrantee's uh, contract basically grant end? July 31st. And, and it's not been renewed? No. And that they can't apply in some other, with some other grant? Would you, would you accept a, a different grant from these people? They just applied for one which was denied, and they just received that. That was a $6 million request, a little over $6 million request, and they were denied that. Let me ask a question. When, when you are looking at a program, a success or failure of a program, what is a win? How do you evaluate the success of a program? Because this one clearly was not. And I mean, someone in that, in that shop decided we are going to do this knowing good and well that they shouldn't do it. We will just do it, and we probably won't get caught. We will ask for forgiveness if we get caught, because there is no risk to us if we do. And the risk, uh, I guess, is not getting another grant. But that is it. You didn't stop the grant. So how do you, when you evaluate a program, in other words, how do you define a win, a success? Uh, thank you for that question, uh, Congressman. Uh, w fortunately, we have an amazing array of successes all over the country with 345,000 national service participants here in today. I have the joy of seeing those all over the country in rural and cities and tribal communities, uh, serving in disasters, education. And a success would be something like this. Uh, a program meets all of our requirements. Uh, they file their financial reports on time. They have strong audits. They have proper management and oversight. Uh, they have strong outcomes. They are measuring their performance and reporting to us what, that. 
They, uh, our larger programs are doing. I am about out of time, but so when they, someone applies for a grant, there are metrics out there, benchmarks that they have to meet. Absolutely. Okay, I yield back. 